your summer bangers for our last half hour coming up. 3.30 now, a news beat with Ben Mundy. One. A town in Derbyshire has been evacuated because of floods. News beat. In the last hour, people living in Whaley Bridge have been told to get out because of the bad weather. A dam wall has collapsed. Newsbeat's Callum Leslie is here. Ben, we've been watching the pictures on this. Water's pouring down the side of the dam. Police say there's a serious danger to life. But we've heard some people living there are finding it hard to get out because the roads are closed. And Callum, it's not just there. Firefighters have rescued more than 20 people and there are six less severe warnings out for other locations in the north of England and the Midlands. Callum, thank you. Newsbeat. Elsewhere, ASAP Rocky's been given giving evidence in his trial in Sweden. The rapper and two of his friends deny assaulting a 19-year-old there last month. He told the court they'd felt threatened by the people... Mike's going to do it. And Celtic woman later and Ross Kemp and also the non-stop oldies chosen by Penny Paver from Burton Joyce in Nottinghamshire. BBC News at three o'clock. This is Mike Powell. In the past hour, police have announced the evacuation of thousands of people from the town of Whaley Bridge in Derbyshire after flooding caused the partial collapse of a dam wall at a nearby reservoir. The Environment Agency says there is a danger to life. Flood warnings remain in place across parts of northern England. Firefighters are searching for people feared trapped under a huge mound of collapsed scaffolding in Reading. The structure came down just after quarter past 11 this morning, injuring three people. Yeah, a bit later for me, Chuck D, public enemy. Come on. 33 minutes past two, Sarah Green is here with the news. On digital, BBC Sounds, smart speaker and online. This is BBC Radio 5 Live. Derbyshire police say the town of Whaley Bridge is being evacuated after a wall around the nearby Toddbrook Reservoir was damaged. Residents are being asked to make arrangements to stay with friends and family. A severe flood warning has been issued, meaning a possible danger to life. The Bank of England's warning that there's a one in three chance Britain's economy will shrink next year. It says preparations for a no-deal Brexit are well underway, but if that does happen, the pound... Orbital in session back in 2017 and version of Chime. Six music. This is BBC Radio. Six music. BBC News at 4.30, I'm Mike Powell. Thousands of people living in the Derbyshire town of Whaley Bridge are being evacuated after the Environment Agency issued a severe flood warning, meaning there could be a danger to life. The heavy rainfall over the past few days has caused the Toddbrook Reservoir to overflow and part of the dam wall to collapse. Stuart Hughes, who works locally, described how the evacuation is affecting the village. It's been quite worrying. There's had a few staff who kind of live in the local area who've had to kind of go home and obviously get the families and the children and whatnot and take them to a safe place. That's as much as we really know. The police at the end of the road have kind of stopped any traffic coming in and out of the village. But as I say, we're kind of still in the dark at the moment and we, we know further on really than any more information than that. The Bank of England has warned that a no-deal Brexit would probably lead to slower economic growth, higher prices and a weaker pound. The bank has cut its forecasts for UK growth over the next two years. This is the British Asian Sound on BBC Sounds and Digital Radio. BBC Asian Network. of you that are emailing me and texting me uh, lots of new listeners to the show um, I'll give you a bit a bit of a shout out um, in a few minutes time but right now it's time for your news with Dil Naya 
Thanks, Noreen. In the last hour, police have announced the evacuation of thousands of people in a village in Derbyshire. It's after flooding caused the partial collapse of a dam wall in Wally Bridge. The Environment Agency says there's a danger to life. Flood warnings remain in place across parts of northern England. There are concerns the row over lessons in primary schools on gay relationships are being exploited by extremists from all sides. Teachers say threats from some of those objecting to the classes. And my auntie used to see him wandering about the village. How about that? Sadly no longer with us. Great actor, though. Great actor. A to Z on the way. T at three. Loads more good songs. And cricket. Oh, we need to update you on the ashes. On radio, TV and BBC Sounds, this is BBC Radio Derby. It's one o'clock. I'm Wesley Mallon. Derbyshire police have been called to a reservoir above Whaley Bridge in the Peak District after reports of damage to a wall which hold back hundreds of thousands of gallons of water. In a statement, police said the area isn't being evacuated and we're working with partners to assess the stability of the structure. But a number of roads in the area have been closed and police are asking people to avoid the area. Whaley Bridge is downstream of the kilometre-long reservoir. The former Conservative MP Edwina Curry lives overlooking it. Well, I live in Whaley Bridge, uh, actually above the dam, above the reservoir. You can see it from our back garden and uh, we've got helicopters overhead uh, taking a look at the damage. At some time fairly recently, I think probably during the night, a chunk of the facing of the sloping side of the dam has come away and uh, there's water getting in and undermining the earthworks. Now, that is serious stuff. Derbyshire police have issued a warning to homeowners to have a flood plan in place right the way across Derbyshire. More rain is forecast and the Peak District and northern parts of the county have already been hit by flooding. Last night, several roads were closed, including... Waiting to strike. Your chips are your life. They're like flying turkeys, they're that fat. You can hear the legs rubbing together. They're not frightened anymore. Anyway, a bird of prey, that's going to sort it. So say the Daily Star, and they're always right. On radio, TV and BBC Sounds, this is BBC Radio Derby. It's two o'clock, I'm Jack Goodman. Derbyshire police have been called to a reservoir above Whaley Bridge in the Peak District after reports of damage to a wall which holds back thousands of gallons of water. In a statement, police say the area is not being evacuated and we are working with partners to assess the stability of the structure. A number of roads in the area have been closed and police are asking people to avoid the area. They also say there is currently no evacuation taking place, but people who don't live in the village are being advised to leave the area as a precaution. Whaley Bridge is downstream of the kilometre-long reservoir. The former Conservative MP Edwina Curry lives overlooking it. If the dam is further damaged and fails to hold the quantity of water that's in there, then you are talking some serious issues. There are six brand new houses still under construction just below that point, and you have to worry that some of the property that's very close by is certainly going to get damaged. I mean, one hopes, obviously, that uh, no one's going to get uh, hurt or injured. Police are also advising that volunteers are not required despite calls on social media. Scaffolding has come away from a building and collapsed in Reading city centre, injuring two people. Fire crews are searching the rubble of... Fingers crossed it all goes well. Radio, TV and BBC Sounds. This is BBC Radio Derby. It's three o'clock, I'm Jack Goodman. 
Derbyshire police are evacuating people from Whaley Bridge in the Peak District after being called to a reservoir above the town. There's reports of damage to a wall which holds back thousands of gallons of water. The Environment Agency says there is a danger to life. Residents are being asked to go to Chapel High School in Chapel and Le Frith, where officers will be on hand to provide further information. They're also being advised to take any pets with them, as well as any medication that may be needed for a number of days. The former Conservative MP Edwina Curry lives overlooking the reservoir. This dam has been there for nearly 200 years, 1830, and I don't think there have ever been problems like this before. But we did have two weeks' worth of rain in 24 hours the other night. It absolutely hammered down, and the worry as well is that more rain is forecast for this area later today. Firefighters are searching for people feared trapped under a huge mound of collapsed scaffolding in Reading. The structure came down just after quarter past 11 this morning, injuring three people. Rescue workers are now using thermal imaging and... On 95.1 FM, digital radio and BBC Sounds. BBC Radio Manchester. It's one o'clock, I'm Becky Want, here with the latest news is Rebecca Barrett. We're being warned more heavy rain and thunderstorms are on the way to our region. The Met Office has reinstated the yellow warning of rain, saying it could lead to further flooding and travel disruption. We're just hearing that Derbyshire police say there are reports of damage to the wall at Toddbrook Reservoir in Whaley Bridge. They're asking people to avoid the area while they assess the stability of the wall and road closures and diversions are in place. Last night, houses were evacuated and a major incident was declared in part of East Cheshire. These people in Poynton have been describing the chaos. Absolute carnage. I've lived here for 54 years and I have never ever seen anything like it in my whole life. Can't believe it. It's just a bit scary how quickly it happened really, isn't it? What I'd worry about is, is it going to happen? Is this going to keep happening now? A rescue operation by firefighters saw 11 people and four animals rescued by crews in lifeboats. Jackie Carter returned to her home in Brown. From Manchester, close shop Slaters. On 95.1 FM, digital radio and BBC Sounds. BBC Radio Manchester. It's two o'clock. I'm Becky Want here with the latest news. It's Rebecca Barrett. A severe flood warning has been issued for the River Goit at Whaley Bridge in Derbyshire. The Environment Agency says there is a threat to life. Catherine Murray has the latest. We spent quite a lot of money on putting flood bills in, uh, but the level of the water has risen, risen so high, I can see it's probably about two and a half, three foot at the outside of the, of the doors, that they've just not been able to withstand the pressure of water that came in and it's just everywhere, every single room on the ground floor, it has penetrated, so we're not going to be living here for a while. Apologies, that was Jackie, who was whose house was evacuated in Bramall yesterday. We're now going to go to Catherine Murray. Well, we're talking about Toddbrook Reservoir here um, at the edge of Derbyshire. The Environment Agency have issued a warning. They say that river levels in the River Goit could rise rapidly as a result of water coming from the Toddbrook Reservoir. They say that evacuation plans are currently underway for the area of Whaley Bridge, and they're saying to people who live there, that if you believe you're in immediate danger to call 999 they're telling people to be aware of the surroundings to keep up to date with the current situation and to avoid using low-lying footpaths near local water courses now police Derbyshire police had recently issued a warning saying that business owners and people who weren't residents of the areas that should they should leave the area as quickly and safely as possible that was about half an hour ago and they'd said that volunteers are not required at the reservoir and they're asking for people to stay away from the area. Now, this comes less than 24 hours after houses in Greater Manchester and Cheshire were evacuated because of flooding caused by heavy rain. In the last half hour, Stockport Trading Standards has issued a warning. Okay. James Arthur and Marie rewrite the stars on BBC Radio Manchester. Good afternoon from Phil Trow. Hope you're well today. Right, coming up, updates on how the flood water continues to affect us here in Greater Manchester. And find out why we're going to be saying e bar gum 
to our neighbours this afternoon, all to come between now and six. On 95.1 FM, digital radio and BBC Sounds. BBC Radio Manchester. Good afternoon, Thursday the 1st of August. It's three o'clock and with your latest BBC News, here's Rebecca Barrett. People living in the Derbyshire town of Whaley Bridge are being moved out of their homes amid concerns about Toddbrook Reservoir. The Environment Agency's issued a severe warning saying there's a threat to life. Catherine Murray has the latest. Well, Whaley Bridge is just on the edge of Derbyshire, not for, far from the Stockport border, and this situation concerns a dam on the reservoir above Whaley Bridge. Now, the Canal and Rivers Trust say there's damage to one of the spillways or channels on the dam and that they have a team of engineers on site assessing it at the moment and in the meantime the area is being evacuated. In the last hour police have issued a statement telling people who've been told to leave their homes to go to Chapel High School on Long Lane where they'll get more instructions on what to do. Residents are being asked to go and stay with friends and family elsewhere to ensure that any pets are taken with them and that any medication that they need for the next few days is taken with them and uh, if they're unable to leave their home and if they need assistance, they need to ca contact 101 and ask for the police. Thanks, Catherine. Former MP Edwina Curry lives nearby in a safe area just above the reservoir. She's been speaking to BBC Radio Manchester's Becky Wan. Yesterday, walking the dogs there, I thought to myself, God, there's a lot of water in the dam and there's a lot coming off the top. Uh, it was raining hard. We've had a fortnight's rain in 24 hours. In fact, it's raining again now. And I thought, well, it's been there since 1830. It'll be OK. Mm. And uh, I was wrong because uh, early this morning, part of the concrete face of the dam on the, uh, the, the dry side came away completely. And the water that was overflowing then went straight into the hole and started to undermine the clay works underneath, which is seriously not good news. Last night, houses were evacuated and a major incident was declared in part of East Cheshire. A rescue operation saw 11 people and four animals rescued by crews in lifeboats. Jackie Carter returned to her home in Bramall this morning. We've come back into the house this morning and it's just devastated. There's silt, there's mud um, everywhere. You know, it's obviously risen very high inside the house, so everything's going to have to be uh, tipped and replaced. The National Trust says Lyme Park's among the areas that has experienced serious flood damage. Meanwhile, Stockport Council's issued a warning about rogue traders, saying disasters like this often bring them out of the woodwork. Councillors are warning people to carefully consider who they pay to carry out household repairs. BBC Radio Manchester will keep you updated on this throughout today. In other news, a sixth person has died after eating prepackaged food linked to a listeria outbreak. A total of nine people at a number of hospitals, including some at MRI. Introduce you to PSA Finance UK Limited. Personal finance lease. 48 months at £199. 18 plus. Guarantee may be required. Terms, eligibility and return conditions apply. You will not own the car. With the latest news across the UK, this is Greatest Hits Radio. Labour's accusing the Chancellor of wasting taxpayers' money preparing for a no-deal Brexit. Sajid Javid set aside £2.1 billion to invest in putting measures in place, with investors predicting a no-deal could cause serious harm to the economy. But the Chancellor says that's largely an exaggeration. Our economy is fundamentally strong, so today we can choose to both invest in our schools, our hospitals, our fantastic police, but we can also prepare to exit the EU and if that means leaving with no deal that's exactly what we're going to do. The Bank of England meanwhile has cut its growth forecast for the British economy warning there's a one in three chance there'll be a recession after Brexit even with a deal. The Environment Agency's issued a severe flood warning in the town of Whaley Bridge in Derbyshire. They're warning of a danger to life after a reservoir was damaged, causing water levels to rise in the River Goit. A Met Office weather warning for rain also covers much of northern England until 8 tonight. Two people have been injured after a large section of scaffolding collapsed in Reading in Berkshire. Firefighters are having to use thermal imaging sensors to search for anyone trapped underneath. 
In sport, Australia are collapsing in the opening Ashes test against England. The hosts are bowling first at Edgbaston. A short time ago, Australia were 112 for seven. Bowler Jimmy Anderson was taken for a scan during the lunch break, complaining of a calf injury. And Boris Johnson has reportedly had a large countdown clock installed in his office at 10 Downing Street. It's been set to count the remaining days until the UK leaves the EU on October the 31st. It cost around £500. We're told it wasn't paid for by the taxpayer. Get the greatest hits on at home and at work. Tell your smart speaker to play Greatest Hits Radio. Some heavy rain in northern parts, sunshine and scattered showers across the east, cloudy in the south and west, highs of 24. That's the latest. I'm Adam Dowling. This is Greatest Hits Radio across the UK. Today's cash superstars call games. Thousands of players. It all adds up to... Uh, got a calculator? It's Planet Millions, a world of slots, casino and slingo games with Cash Buster, Hotline and more. Get started with a massive 100% bonus at planetmillions.com. New players over 18 only. Valid 40 days. Max bonus 100 pounds. Max win 500 pounds. 50 times wagering required. Terms apply. Gamble responsibly. Play Hits Radio. On your smart speaker. Mobile. And your radio. Across the UK. This is... It's radio. The Chancellor is providing an extra £2.1 billion to prepare for a no-deal Brexit. Sajid Javid insists the economy is strong enough to cope if the UK leaves the EU without an agreement. I have turbocharged our preparations, both of the Treasury and helping across government, to prepare for no deal. Not because we want it, but we have to be prepared because we will be leaving on October the 31st. The Chancellor says the cash would be used to stockpile medicines, hire more border officials and fund a publicity campaign. Labour is calling it an appalling waste of taxpayers' cash. The Environment Agency has issued a severe flood warning for the town of Whaley Bridge in Derbyshire. It's feared a dam could collapse there, leading to a danger to life. Our reporter, Francesca Flynn, is there for us now. Thousands of people are being evacuated. There are police cars and vans everywhere, and it's been absolutely pouring it down again, which isn't good news for anyone. It's after panels on one side of the dam near the town centre have partially collapsed because of such extreme weather. You can see how it's crumbled with sand and water gushing down to the bottom. The stability of the wall is being assessed. A sixth person has died after contracting listeriosis, thought to be from eating sandwiches and salads in hospital. Public Health England says a total of nine people are believed to have fallen ill after after eating contaminated food, an investigation is ongoing. Two people have been injured after a large section of scaffolding collapsed in Reading in Berkshire. Firefighters have used thermal imaging equipment to search for anyone who could be trapped. And scientists say eating dark chocolate could be even better for you than we first thought. A US study has found it can boost your mood and relieve symptoms of depression. Hits Radio. Weather. With the Hits Radio app. Download to your phone and stream via Android Auto. A mix of sunshine and scattered showers across the UK this afternoon. I'm Eloise Lumpford. You're up to date first on Hits Radio. Hey! It's Thursday afternoon with me, Sarah Jane. I've got a Hits Radio summer throwback from Jay-Z and Alicia Keys after the Capaldi. Let, let, let's go. The biggest hits. The biggest hits. The biggest throwbacks. Across the UK. Hits Radio. 199 pounds a month with 199 pounds initial rental you really don't get what you pay for you get a lot more the peugeot 208 signature all that's missing is your signature peugeot motor company plc a credit broker not a lender will introduce you to psa finance uk limited personal finance lease 48 months at 199 pounds 18 plus guarantee may be required terms eligibility and return conditions apply you will not own the car <laughs> In uh, Buxton, the A6 is closed still because of flooding through to Blackwell. Meanwhile, in the West Midlands on the M6, there are northbound delays at Junction 9 at Wensbury because of an accident involving a car and a lorry. Lane 1 is closed. Queues are back to Junction 8. And in West Sussex, the A259 is closed eastbound at Littlehampton from the Horsham Road Junction through to Mill Lane. So traffic's diverting there. Traffic is looking slow. More on the Jazz FM app. Across the UK on DAB in stereo, online, on digital TV, and on smartphone and tablet. This is Jazz FM, listening colour.
The latest this hour, Labour is accusing the Chancellor of wasting taxpayers' money preparing for a no-deal Brexit. Sasha Javid set aside £2.1 billion to invest in putting measures in place, with investors predicting a no-deal could cause serious harm to the economy. But the Chancellor says that's largely an exaggeration. Our economy is fundamentally strong. So today we can choose to both invest in our schools, our hospitals, our fantastic police, but we can also prepare to exit the EU. And if that means leaving with no deal, that's exactly what we're going to do. The Bank of England, meanwhile, has cut its growth forecast for the economy, warning there's a one in three chance there'll be a recession after Brexit, even with a deal. The Environment Agencies issued a severe flood warning in the town of Whaley Bridge in Derbyshire. They're warning of a danger to life after a reservoir was damaged, causing water levels to rise in the River Goit. A Met Office weather warning for rain also covers much of northern England until 8 tonight. Two people have been injured after a large section of scaffolding collapsed in Reading in Berkshire. Firefighters are having to use thermal imaging sensors to search for anyone trapped underneath. And in sport, Australia are struggling in the opening Ashes test against England. The hosts are bowling first at Edgbaston. A short time ago, Australia were 120 for seven. Bowler Jimmy Anderson was taken for a scan during the lunch break, complaining of a calf injury. That's the latest. I'm Adam Dowling. Jazz FM Currency with Oanda. Well, now here's some less pleasant figures. The pound is currently worth $1.20 and €1.09. Jazz FM Currency with Oanda. Online trading, currency data, money transfers. With the world's greatest jazz, soul and blues. From the world's greatest artists. Jazz FM. Find yours too. Glad, glad. For ideas on holidays, short breaks and wonderful weekends in Wales, go to visitwales.com. On DAB Digital Radio. Online. On the app. On Sky. And on your smart speaker. This is Sky Radio News. The latest this hour, Labour is accusing the Chancellor of wasting taxpayers' money preparing for a no-deal Brexit. Sasha Javid set aside £2.1 billion to invest in putting measures in place, with investors predicting a no-deal could cause serious harm to the economy. But the Chancellor says that's largely an exaggeration. Our economy is fundamentally strong. So today we can choose to both invest in our schools, our hospitals, our fantastic police, but we can also prepare to exit the EU. And if that means leaving with no deal, that's exactly what we're going to do. The Bank of England, meanwhile, has cut its growth forecast for the economy, warning there's a one in three chance there'll be a recession after Brexit, even with a deal. The Environment Agencies issued a severe flood warning in the town of Whaley Bridge in Derbyshire. They're warning of a danger to life after a reservoir was damaged, causing water levels to rise in the River Goit. A Met Office weather warning for rain also covers much of northern England until 8 tonight. Two people have been injured after a large section of scaffolding collapsed in Reading in Berkshire. Firefighters are having to use thermal imaging sensors to search for anyone trapped underneath. And in sport, Australia are struggling in the opening Ashes test against England. The hosts are bowling first at Edgbaston. A short time ago, Australia were 120 for seven. Bowler Jimmy Anderson was taken for a scan during the lunch break, complaining of a calf injury. That's the latest. I'm Adam Dowling. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Sam Hughes. Coming up, I'm going to play you some fash. I've also got a gentleman.